New at 11, three suspected killers are behind bars accused of torturing a Valley family before setting their home on fire while they were still inside. And only on 13 Action News, we've just learned the family may have had ties to drug trafficking. 13 Action News reporter Masa Saidi is putting the pieces of this puzzle together. She's live now from Cheryl near Lamb with the new information tonight. Masa. Trisha, Steve, we have been working on this story since November here on the property. There's still shattered glass and the devastation still visible on the family's car that is parked here in the driveway. But the home, it has since been leveled to the ground. All that's left behind is concrete and tiles. We now know the identity of the men who entered this home. Two are from Philly. One is a local father, all accused of doing the unthinkable. We have multiple people tied up inside. Emergency crews, the first to encounter the nightmare. Witnesses say inside the burning home, a family was bound, duct taped, and trapped. Now, for the first time, a source telling 13 Action News, this was a brutal, high-level retaliation. And one of the victims, a drug trafficker. Do you think she was the target or her no, dad? No, her dad. Mario Jimenez was killed in the fire. His daughter, Angelica, died weeks later. Days where our local law enforcement was on edge, afraid of more bloodshed in the valley, the kind of violence you typically see from Mexican drug cartels. Tonight, we know that on Facebook, Angelica stated she was from Sinaloa, home to the world's most powerful cartel and notorious drug lord. When the Jimenez attack occurred, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was still on the run. The cartel's management potentially in disarray. Authorities hoping and praying for a peaceful arrest of the suspected killers. You can see that the candles are still left here. People knew the family. They were deeply impacted by this. Right now, we know that one suspect, suspected killer is at the Clark County Detention Center. The other two are in federal custody, one in Pahrump, the other in Henderson. All three will make their first appearance in court on August 16th, and we will be there. Reporting live, Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. Thanks,